Hi, I'm Natalia from IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and this is a review of the IntelliCAD user interface. I will start with the newest addition, Tool Palettes pane. Tool palettes are used to organize tools. The structure is transparent. It's a group of palettes, each of them represented by a tab. Each palette can contain different tool types. Command tool executes appropriate command just like a regular button on a toolbar or ribbon. Block tool inserts a block from an external drawing. I have a block that I want to have a quick access to. So I create a new palette and drag and drop an existing block to it. And now I can simply place my block wherever I need it. Block tool support is available starting in IntelliCAD 9.0e. In the current implementation, only command and block tools are available. But our plans are to add a camera tool as well. Several words about current customization features for Tool Palette Spain. You can insert a new palette, move existing palettes up and down, delete, and rename. Also, tools on the palettes can be copy-pasted, renamed, and reordered. Each tool has properties where you can change the tool's name, set a new command, and modify general properties. One more feature related to the tool palettes is Explorer palettes. When turned on, IntelliCAD Explorer displays as a tool palette. Explorer palettes is controlled by the X palette system variable. I'm opening several Explorer palettes so you can see what they look like. These palettes have the same user interface as the properties pane, and in my opinion, the best way to store Explorer palettes is to fix them all to one side of the screen. Also, you can set the transparency for each Explorer palette. And the very last tool palettes pane feature I would like to present is the Customize Palettes dialog. This newest addition to the tool palettes will be introduced in IntelliCAD 9.1 and available in the context menu. Customize Palettes dialog creates, modifies, and organizes tool palettes. On the left side of the Customize Tool Palettes dialog, you can see a list of all available tool palettes. You can add new palettes, delete, or rename existing palettes. Save the tool palette to XTP file format using the export option or import saved tool palettes. On the right side of the customized tool palettes dialog, you can create a new tool palettes group or import an existing one and add any palettes you need from the list of palettes. Any palette group can be set as current and will be displayed in the tool palettes window. When at least one palette group exists, you can set it as current from the Tool Palettes context menu. You can also rename and delete palette groups. By the way, you can't recover Tool Palettes and Tool Palette groups after they are deleted. So, if you want to access it, just export the existing group of palettes to the XPG file format. The Import option will merge the Tool Palette group from the selected XPG file with the current Tool Palette groups. And now, let's move to the ribbon interface. It was first introduced in IntelliCAD 8.1, and many of you are already familiar with it, but I hope to give you some new tips about using the ribbon. The ribbon interface is an optional component in some professional versions of IntelliCAD. Standard versions of IntelliCAD don't have a ribbon interface. The ribbon is a set of thematic tabs that move lots of features to the forefront for user access. You can switch between these tabs and on each tab, commands are grouped into panels. Some panels have expanders with a pin option for easier access. There are three types of buttons. The first type, regular buttons that execute commands. The second type, buttons with submenus. And the third type, buttons that both execute commands and show submenus. A good example of this type is the layer control. Also, the ribbon has a special tab type that displays only when certain commands are executed or a certain entity is selected. For example, you can activate the Text Editor ribbon tab by calling them Text Command. These types of ribbon tabs are called contextual ribbon tabs, and all contextual tab titles are highlighted pink. The most popular controls and buttons are accessed from the Quick Access toolbar. You can add buttons to the Quick Access toolbar using the list of commands or add buttons from the ribbon. The Quick Access toolbar can be located above or below the ribbon. Also, in the same menu, you can minimize or restore the ribbon. Or you can achieve the same result by double-clicking any ribbon tab. Also, you can customize the ribbon by showing or hiding tabs and panels. By the way, if you don't like ribbon interface and prefer the classic IntelliCAD interface, you always can switch to the menu bar. Let's return to the Quick Access Toolbar and Workspace Control. 
it used to switch to any available workspace or set up a new one. Now there are several default workspaces available from the workspace control. The IntelliCAD Classic Interface workspace is a classic IntelliCAD interface with a menu bar and a standard set of toolbars. Using the Workspace Settings dialog, you can define settings for how IntelliCAD works with workspaces. You can move existing workspaces up and down, show them or hide them, and choose whether to save workspace visibility settings automatically or not when switching between workspaces. You can also assign the workspace that will load when you click the My Workspace button on the Workspace toolbar. IntelliCAD has a special workspace, DGN Markup. It's available in certain versions of IntelliCAD that support native editing of DGN files, and it's automatically activated when a DGN file is open. The DGN workspace contains all commands that are currently available in the IntelliCAD DGN implementation. To switch back from the DGN markup workspace, just open any DWG file. If you didn't find a suitable workspace in the list of existing workspaces, you can always change the current layout to the way you need and save it using the Save Current As option. The last feature I would like to review in this video is the fully redesigned customized dialog. I've opened an old version of this dialog so you can see the difference. The new version of the customized dialog contains two tabs. Customize tab, where you can change settings and commands for workspaces and customization files, and the transfer tab, where you can create and save new customization files. Let's start with the customize tab. First of all, you have to select a workspace or customization file to modify, and choose which element you would like to change. Ribbon, contextual ribbon states, quick access toolbar, and application buttons are only available for IntelliCAD versions that have a ribbon. A green bullet in front of an item indicates that the item is available, while a red bullet in front of an item indicates that the item is not available for you to use at the current experience level. To change the order of menu items or ribbon tabs, just drag and drop them. To add a new item, right-click on Toolbar and press the Insert Toolbar item. You can add new commands by dragging them from the Commands list, or by inserting a new button to the toolbar and assigning the necessary command and other properties in the Properties box. I also want to mention that you can merge contextual tabs into existing ribbon tabs using the Display field. You can change a button icon using the Button Image box. You can choose the icon from the list of default IntelliCAD icons, or you can select your own BMP or PNG file with the proper sized icon or resource DLL file. Import and export options are available on the Transfer tab. Two customization files are displayed at a time in two adjustable panels. By default, the current user customization file is located on the left side of the Customize tab. And on the right side is a new empty customization file, which you can modify by opening a customization file of different file format, such as CUI, CUIX, MNU, or dragging and dropping elements from the left side you can save the result as a CUI or CUIX file. The CUI format is a new AutoCAD file format for user interface customization, and currently this is the only available file format for export. So it was very important for IntelliCAD to support this file format. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments, and thank you for watching this video.